Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another session of Q&A on Rocket League. It's your boy Madge on 96. We do have something special for you guys today. Today on the channel we actually have Linksy. Linksy is a massive editor in the Rocket League community. We're going to get him into a call, we're going to discuss how we got into Rocket League, how we got into editing, some of the, the jobs he's worked on, um, what his plans are for the future, etc. Um, might be a couple of good stories in there as well that he might be able to tell. But yeah, all in all, it seems like a really nice guy. So without further ado, let's get him into a call. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? How are we doing? Doing good. How are you? Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Welcome to the channel, my friend. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It is an absolute pleasure to have you. And the first Irish lad as well. That's a yeah. poggers. That's a win all day long for me anyway. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, it's really good to have you on. You were a suggestion on one of the comments on my Twitter. So I said, yes. I'm going to have to follow up on that, you know what I mean? Try exactly, and get you on. Wasn't it? Uh, it was actually, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I'm assuming you know him. But yeah, yeah. In some way. Was, yeah, yeah. He's in Nexus as well. Yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah I know, because he, he mentioned you, and I was like, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. Because I remember, I remember I actually saw you um, not so long back. Um, well, not not in person, but you know, on on, on YouTube, um, in, in Musty's video, we'll get to that later. Mm. But um, but yeah, I saw, I saw you in that, and I was like, I was like, with, with a name Dara Poli has to be Irish or one of <laughs> exactly. the channel, you know what I mean? Irish spelling and all. <laughs> exactly, that's it. Yeah, but um, but yeah, we're going to get into a couple of twos games. We're going to run through a few questions. Nothing too intensive, nothing too personal either. So mm -hmm. um, it's going to be all very relaxed. So let's get into a few games first, and we'll see how we, where we go from there. So I suppose we'll start off with the simplest of questions. Where are yes, you from? Of course. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I'm actually from Sligo, in the west of Ireland. Oh my God, man! The middle of nowhere. Jesus. Yeah. So I, I grew up here, and I'm actually I'm home at the moment. But I'm actually currently in college in Dublin, and I'm living in Dublin. Cool. So that's where I, I am most of the time. That's where I'm. I'm just in, in between, in between like apartments at the moment. So. That's all um, good, that's all good. Yeah, no, because I actually, I, I work for the fella from Sligo as well, but he's the only fella I've ever heard of from Sligo. <laughs> you, I, knew, I know you're the second, yeah. <laughs> actually, you, you answered my second question already. Uh, did you go to college? Um, but you're answering that at the moment. Um, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm only 20 at the moment, so... Oh, okay, I mean, you're all, you're fairly young, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm in um, second year, in well, I just finished second year in college. Oh, very good, very good. And um, what what do you study in college? Is it something to do with um with editing, or is it just something yeah, totally yeah. different? So I'm doing moving image design, which is kind of like film, I guess you could say. Okay. Like okay. animation and film. I suppose it links in to what you're doing anyway at the moment. So yeah, you exactly. know, everything helps. Like it's going to have the piece of paper at the end of the day. Yeah, that's really the only reason. I'm going yeah, to college, that, absolutely. But like you're like you're making a pretty sick living at what you're doing at the moment. But like you know, to have that piece of paper is always handy. I suppose if you ever decided to move on. And do something Sorry. a little bit different, you know. Mm. When when did you just think, yeah, this is what I want to do. This is where I want to go with my life. I think it was it was more of like a gradual thing that happened. There was no like, I mean, there was kind of some set set points, but not not to the point where I was like, okay, I'm doing this now. Like, yeah, kind yeah, of just, yeah, yeah. So basically, five years ago, uh, I mean, I was always editing videos like on Minecraft and stuff when I was young. Um, yeah. But as soon as I was like 2015. I right. oh just God, got into Rocket League and then I started doing it from there. And it, it was only like a hobby for a while until people actually suggested that like they would pay me to do stuff. And then it just kind of became, kind of became a thing. Exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. And like I, I've seen some of your work as well. Like, like you're, oh my God, you are seriously <laughs> talented. Like, you know what I mean? So, Thank you. Um, but yeah, like I suppose the question is what drew you to Rocket League in particular? Was it just. Like, were you playing the game and you said, yeah, this is something that I could see myself doing, editing-wise, or was it just something that came on you quite gradually so or what, sorry? It was actually, like, I remember the exact moment I first saw the game. I have a cousin in uh, Limerick, and I was just at his house, and he had Rocket League on his PS4, and it was when it was only on PS4 at the time. So it was, like, right yeah. at the start. Yeah, that was, and like, I proper. Remember, yeah, it was, like, ages ago. Mm. I didn't even get it for like a couple of weeks after that, but I just played it once there and I remember we were just playing bots and Caveman just ended up humping the goalposts, you know, like the bots do. I just, <laughs> yeah. remember, like, I, I just remember pissing myself laughing like so hard for <laughs> I've seen that happen. Oh man, it's so funny. 
And that's basically <laughs> how I got into the game. Like just off that one moment, I was like, I'm getting this game on PC. But yeah, I, I just suppose, um, like obviously I mentioned Musty's video um, early on in the recording. Like that, that for me was when I got to know you anyway, at least you know where I kind of, um, I kind of saw a bit of your work firsthand. And like, I just want to know what, how did it come about, you know? Um, and, and how did you, how did you go about editing it at the time, you know? The musty stuff. Yeah, the musty stuff. Yeah, I would just say that that like he got, I know he got five editors in to do yeah. the same five clips and just see what each of them came up with, you know? Yeah. So that's how like my connection with musty started off. He just, um, I think he did like a poll or like something on Twitter uh, where he was asking like what people's favorite editors were, and I just came up in that list. So he invited me and um, a couple others into that video idea and basically just gave us clips and we would just edit them the, the way well I know the first one was just like good clips and stuff but the second we did like a second version of that video which was like bad clips and we had to make them look good and see how our editing skills could change the game yeah um but yeah then after that it happened I think Musi brought me into a call to like help him about like some editing thing with like the back mode yes from that moment on, he actually popped a question to me there, then saying if I would be his editor um, for like his YouTube videos, like content was. I, I actually saw a video on your YouTube mentioning that that you actually turned it down the first time he came to you, mm. and like I was thinking, you idiot, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I, like I, I realized that I realized now that you had like massive amounts of work. To yeah, do exactly. In, in terms of other content for other people as well, and like mm. you didn't want to let that go either. Do you know what I mean? And that's fair enough because there were some big names mixed into that as well, which I will get to also. Um, but I suppose your your current workings and what are you currently working on? Is there any big projects? Any anything that you can share? Like I know, I know some of the stuff might be top secret. Yeah. That you can't really divulge to us, but just in terms of in terms of stuff you can share, what are you working on? So, I mean, like I'm not sure how much I can share of. of this one that I'm working on heavily at the moment, but I'm doing something with Jazer at the moment, and he, ha he has like mentioned it on stream, so I guess it is kind of public. But yeah, I'm doing like I, a montage for him. Very cool, very cool. Like I, I suppose obviously like what you're doing with it and stuff obviously is, is top secret, and that's very fair. Yeah. But uh, name dropping is okay. Since since he said it on stream, I think it's all fairly okay. Yeah, exactly. I think he was keeping a secret for a while, but it's taken like a really long time. Yeah, because uh, he wants me to like spend a long time on it, just make yeah. it perfect. And like I, I know you do a bit of work with um with Smellsworth as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Oh yeah, so uh, just recently I've been doing a lot of his like stream editing stuff. Uh, yeah. So he, he does he does streams on Twitch where he does like wine testing and like food rating and stuff like that, like just tier lists. He does a bit of gaming as well, but I haven't really done too much gaming videos. But yeah. basically I've just been for him um, cutting up his streams and stuff like that. Pretty simple. But I suppose I suppose for you it's um it's it's a little bit of variety away from like Rocket exactly. League and yeah. you know. It's just something to test your, test your skills as well, away from yeah. this game in particular, like, you know? Exactly. And that's, what I, that's what I've been thinking recently, because I, I only really do Rock League stuff, and because I have, like, a career, career out of it, I'm thinking, like, okay, is this, like, as far as I'll be able to go with it? Mm, Maybe I should yeah. branch into things that, like, give me more of a scope. And I, I actually have a question, because I remember you mentioning something uh, about when we were talking on Discord a couple of times, you mentioned something about you had some stories that you wanted to say. Tell us a little bit about that. What I, I'm assuming you have some funny stories back along. Oh, well, from no, what I, was just, I was just going to talk about like the community in general, like and just how long it's, how far it's come since I started. Because like I was, um, I mean, I'm, I'm leading Team Nixus at the moment. Um, it's like a, we're, we're like a content team on YouTube. But back in like 2015, 2016, like there was Nixus still existed back then, and I was like a fan of Nixus, and it's yeah. just so like weird because you, you were talking about like get like looking into my past and like how I got into editing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But back then I was just like playing Rocket League, and I ended up getting into like these small teams, and then I've edited for those teams, and then like people have saw my stuff on YouTube, and I somehow got a job out of that. It's like so weird to even think about. We're gonna go back to 2019. Right, and we're going to. Yeah. I'm going to ask you what sort of works you were you were working on back then before you kind of, I suppose, hit the big time is what you call it. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know what sort of projects were you dealing with then? Like, what sort of names were you editing for? What works were you doing? You know. So 2019. I mean, it was mainly just um, commission work, like from like with random people. Mm -hmm. If I'll be honest, like it, there was no kind of. Um, I don't know, like it, it wasn't like someone big approaching me and being like, will you edit this like type of video that I have in mind? It's, it was more just like, okay, my commissions are open. 
you can come to my DMs and like, you know, we can sort out a price and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But other than that, I was just doing like videos for Nixus, trying trying to like experiment with different things and editing just to like further my style. Um, I'm just going to go as well a little bit deeper into um, into G Fuel. Um, yeah. Because obviously they're they're kind of one of the one of the brands you would you would deal with. Uh, just tell us a little bit about that and how that came about. So that's actually like one. Of, that's an interesting story of how I even got that work. So I was in um, Nixus and they had Nixus had this motion designer named Clay, or Merc was his game attack at the time. And Clay is actually the lead motion designer for G Fuel. He does really? like advertisements and stuff for them. So I became friends with him. And just through him, he like got to see my work, and and a spot opened up in G Fuel for, um, like a social editor or like someone who can edit, um, I don't know, like stream overlays and, and like uh, social media clips and that. Yeah. So he he put a word in for me, and it just happened like that. I think that was back in like 2018 or something. I was 17 when I when I signed the contract. I remember that. And I suppose the last question. This is the one that I suppose most fellas have to ponder over quite a bit. Okay. Your plans for the future. Where where does where does where does Dark Polo see himself in yeah, that, five years? Yeah, that's that's the tough one, isn't it? That's, <laughs> that's, the, that's one. the really tough one. I mean obviously I don't think well I mean not obviously, but I would say some people would think like okay maybe gaming videos will like be here for years on end and I'll have it as like an actual career, but honestly I can't see myself editing Rocket League as like a complete full-time job when I have kids and stuff like that like yeah. I don't know I, I want to get into film probably like right. I'm I'm obsessed with movies and cinematography and stuff so um that would be a road I'd like to go down like maybe even just the handling of footage on films yeah like I, I was thinking you just mentioned kids there I was just thinking like they might be playing Rocket League at that stage so it might be worth their while yeah <laughs> no that would be interesting I, I, yeah. I, I think about that at random times what if like my future kids are like to play Rocket League and I just I have like so much to tell them about like back in my day I played this and I yeah. like did this stuff like uh, it, it would go full circle for you really wouldn't it because it would, yeah. they'd be so interested in then and then you were like this was my life back in the day guys yeah <laughs> but um and they'd probably but, hate it like oh our dad played Rocket League what yeah like they were like dad what no yeah. <laughs> um but I suppose that's kind of it man um have you anything that you'd like to say? Anything that you, you know, would like to mention that I haven't already mentioned? Um, I'm not really sure. I guess you covered pretty much everything. Ooh, I suppose I, I it, for the future of um, of Nexus, I suppose I'd like to talk about because I'm like really involved in that, and I'm going to be home for the next two months. Yeah. So my main focus, anyway, for the next two months is on the team Nexus, and we're kind of going towards like our content route all the teams on on youtube are so like tuned in with montage editing and stuff like that yeah. but we're trying to take like a new route that we're like that's kind of out of our comfort zone so i'm going to be focusing on a lot of content editing soon as well like doing different uh, video ideas like maybe editing orientated stuff as well like yeah. this this week i'm going to record a video like it's a montage race where um i'm going to get like three editors and three players from nixus and team them up and they have two hours to hit clips and edit a montage Oh kind of like man, cool I like that idea. Concept. That's really cool. Yeah, but Dara, thank you so much, man. I do appreciate you coming onto the channel as always, um, no guys. I will leave Dara's links in the description down below if you want to go check him out. I do suggest you do. He's a really nice guy. Um, check out some of his uh, some of his previous works, and as he's mentioned in the in the video today, he has some big stuff coming up as well. So keep an eye out for that. As always, my links will be down in the description below, as well as Trevor, my editor. And don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe to the channel as well. That would help me out an awful lot. Hit that bell to know when I upload a little bit of every video. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching. But for now, match I'm out.